Hi, I am Amit Nunkar. In this video, we discuss in detail about preparation, standardization of 0.1 normal potassium permanganate solution. So let's begin with the first part of preparation of 0.1 normal potassium permanganate solution. But before that, you must know about what is normal solution or what is normality. So normality is described as the number of gram or mole equivalents of solute present in 1 liter of a solution. That is normality N is equal to ratio of equivalent weight of solute by volume in liters. Now here you must know about how to calculate equivalent weight. So equivalent weight is nothing but the ratio of molecular weight by valency. Valency is nothing but the number of H plus or OH minus ions involved in reaction. But in this case, as potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizing agent and there is no as such involvement of H plus or OH minus ion in reaction, instead there is an involvement of electron. So you have to consider this for calculation of this equivalent weight. By considering the molecular weight and you have to divide it by the number of electrons which gain or lost. So the equivalent weight of potassium permanganate is nothing but the molecular weight of potassium permanganate divided by number of electrons gain or lost. The molecular weight of potassium permanganate is 158. Molecular weight is nothing but the summation of atoms summation of atomic weight of atoms present in a molecule so here there is a potassium having atomic weight 39 manganese having atomic weight 54.93 and oxygen having atomic weight 60 but here four oxygen atoms are present so you have to just multiply the atomic weight of oxygen 16 by 4 and after summation of all these atomic weight you will get the value 158 so it is molecular weight and divided by 5. The number of electrons with gain in acidic medium is 5 so you have to consider this number 5 and divide this to the molecular weight of KMnO4 the value comes is 31.6 grams. So the equivalent weight of potassium permanganate is 31.6 gram. Means if you dissolve this 31.6 gram of potassium permanganate in 1000 ml that is 1 liter of distilled water you will get the one normal solution that is 3.16 gram of potassium permanganate if you dissolve in 100 ml you will get the same one normal solution. But for the preparation of a 0.1 normal 100 ml potassium permanganate solution, you require 0.316 gram of potassium permanganate. So how to prepare the solution? You have to simply just wait 0.316 gram of potassium permanganate, transfer it in a beaker and add small amount of water and dissolve in it. And this form solution you have to transfer in a volumetric flask and make up the volume up to 100 ml by adding distilled water. So this form solution having a concentration of 0.1 normal. Now next is you have to standardize this prepared 0.1 normal potassium permanganate solution. The principle of standardization of potassium permanganate is based upon redox titration in which strength of an oxidizing agent is estimated by titrating it with a reducing agent and vice versa. Potassium permanganate acts as a strong oxidizing agent in acidic medium that oxidizes oxalic acid into carbon dioxide. Known strength of oxalic acid is titrated directly with potassium permanganate. Endpoint can be detected with appearance of permanent pink color. Here there is no need to add indicator because potassium permanganate acts as a self indicator. Here is the reaction 
in which the potassium permanganate reacts with oxalic acid in acidic medium and it will get oxidized uh, this oxalic acid and liberate the carbon dioxide. Now next is the procedure for standardization weigh accurately about 0.63 gram of oxalic acid dissolve it in distilled water and make up the volume up to 100 ml so the resulting solution which are having a 0.1 normality next you have to pipette out 20 ml of this resulting oxalic acid solution and add 5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid to it warm this mixture to about 70 degrees centigrade you have to just place this conical flask in a boiling water bath for 2 to 3 minutes and you have to fill the burette with potassium permanganate and titrate this potassium permanganate with the oxalic acid and sulfuric acid which we taken in conical flask. You have to titrate until the permanent pink color is persists for 20 seconds. So after uh, getting the three readings, you have to make an average and suppose it comes 19.8 ml. So your burette reading is 19.8 ml. So you have to consider this in further calculation. So calculation, here you have to use the formula N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2 where N1 is nothing but the normality of oxalic acid here which is 0.1 normal. We prepared the oxalic acid having a normality of 0.1. So N1 is 0.1 normal. V1 we prepared 20 ml of oxalic acid. So volume of oxalic acid is 20 ml. N2 is nothing but the normality of potassium permanganate which we want to determine. V2 is volume of potassium permanganate. So the, it is nothing but the burette reading and which is 19.8 ml. So just put up this value into the equation and you will get the result as a 0 0.10. So which is the normality of your prepared potassium permanganate. So normality of prepared potassium permanganate was found to be 0 0.1 normal. So here we discuss how to prepare the 0.1 normal potassium permanganate solution as well as the basic principle involved in standardization and we see in detail about how to standardize this prepared potassium permanganate solution. Hope all of you getting this. Thank you and happy learning.